Again, welcome back to my channel. I totally recommend this topic for grade 9 students about quadrilaterals. First, what is quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a two-dimensional figure with four sides and four angles. The word part quad means four and lateral means sides. Look around you. Do you see shapes anywhere that could be called quadrilaterals? Here are the examples of quadrilaterals that we can consider as an example. We have TV. We have the cookie. Tile, oven, pedestrian lane, or mark, and this one, the corner side, and we can consider it as a plane figure of a house. We have different types of quadrilateral. We have square rectangle, trapezoid, rhombus, and parallelogram. Let's start with a given number one type, a square. Square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angles. The second one, the rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles its opposite sides are equal and parallel. The question is, is a square a rectangle? May tuturing ba daw natin na ang rectangle or ang square is a rectangle? Remember, a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Its opposite sides are equal and parallel while a square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angles. Is a rectangle a square? May tuturing ba daw natin na ang rectangle ay square? Remember again, a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Its opposite sides are equal and parallel. And we have a square again. It is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angles. Let's reveal the answers. A square can also be called a rectangle because it has four right angles and its opposite sides are equal and parallel. However, a rectangle is not a square because it does not have equal sides. How about number three? We have trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has exactly one pair of parallel sides. Take note, remember parallel lines are lines that will never touch. They are equal distance part that all points. As we can see, trapezoid, we have that line, the second line. We have exact, we have exactly one pair of parallel sides. The question is, is this a trapezoid? Yes, it has one set of parallel sides. Let's see. Okay. And we have that line. Next, we have number four, rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral that has four equal sides. Its opposite sides are parallel. Okay. The second pair. Number five, parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides that are equal and parallel. The question is which of the quadrilaterals we have seen are parallelograms? Is it a parallelogram? 
Remember, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides that are equal and parallel. A square, is it a parallelogram or it is not a parallelogram? This is a parallelogram. Next, is it a parallel parallelogram? A rectangle. Is it a parallelogram or not a parallelogram? Let's reveal. It is a parallelogram. How about the third one? Trapezoid. Again, what is the definition of parallelogram? A parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides and that are equal and parallel. As we can see, this shape or this object as a trapezoid, this type of parallel of quadrilateral, is it a parallelogram or not a parallelogram? Let's reveal this is not a parallelogram. Why? Because the given quadrilateral has exactly one pair of parallel sides. Another thing we have this type. We have rhombus. Is it a parallelogram or not a parallelogram? We have opposite sides that are equal and parallel. This line, they are said to be equal. And this side, they are also parallel. Therefore, we can conclude that a rhombus is also a parallelogram. Let's summarize the given topic. Quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. Parallelogram has opposite sides that are equal and parallel. Rectangle has four right angles. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. Rhombus has four equal sides. Opposite sides are parallel. Square has four equal sides and four right angles. Wherein trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides. The question is, what conclusions can we draw from the graphic illustration? A square can also be called a rhombus, a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a quadrilateral. Next, a rectangle can also be called a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. A rhombus can also be called a parallelogram and a quadrilateral also. A parallelogram can also be called a quadrilateral. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you learned something from this topic. Do not forget to review math always.